Hey farmhands, Farm Bereave here. How's everybody doing today? So you guys can see I got the Phoenix 700 behind me. It's half full of water. I got the sand in the bottom. We got the live rock in there. So everything's really coming together. So if you're seeing this video, this video is far behind. Uh, my tank is doing really well. I'm gonna be releasing many videos coming through the next few weeks. So it's all like a series. They're gonna keep coming out each week, each week, each week. I wanna make sure you guys could uh, follow that series that way instead of me just posting one here and one there so you guys can uh, follow the build every week so this is what's going on so if you're seeing this that's what's taking place right now so the tank's full of half water i ended up putting a whole bunch of uh pre-washed uh sand in here um these are the packs i ended up getting um i got 350 pounds of sand i ended up putting in the tank um i have about another uh 50 some pounds to put in i haven't done it yet i still want to uh start pushing it down underneath all the rocks as you guys can see it's really built up here in the front it's about at least three to four inches it's pretty high but i still have to get it back inside all the rock uh caves so it's really gonna be awesome it's got that really nice sand bed i like the look of sand you get all that beneficial bacteria that ends up helping uh clean your tank as well um, if you want to keep your sand really nice and white, just make sure you move it around a couple times a week. You'll have no problem or get a bunch of different uh, little gobies or a starfish. It'll keep working up that sand to make it look really well. But I just wanted to give you guys an update how things were going. Um, so the tank, it, uh, it held water. You guys can see it's going really well. Um, and I got the, the Hydra 52 HDs. They're all mounted, programmed. Um, you're going to see the program I'm running on uh, all these lights and how we program them. We're going to do that all together. Um, I got the, the Tunzee Streams 3s. They're all mounted in the tank as well. I'll take you guys for a little tank tour around. You guys can check it out close. Um, you guys can see it's still, uh, the water's still pretty foggy for me adding the sand. Even though it's pre-washed, it still get that fog in there. So I end up, uh, as soon as the tank is filled, running down through all the sumps when the skimmer and everything's on, I'm gonna put, uh, throw a uh, polyp lab uh, carbon in there. That'll end up crystal clear up that water. So it'll give it that really nice clear look. So. And then um, I got the plumbing done. I'm going to show you guys the plumbing. We're going to do that together. You'll see that coming up as well. Um, I got the overflow boxes are all done. Everything, everything's really coming together. And I just wanted to show you guys a little update that's going on and uh, everything that will be coming forward. So I can release all those videos so you guys can check it out. It's been a crazy build to get uh, to this point. You guys see all the millwork, what color I went with. And then we're going to show you the basement. I'm going to show you the calcium reactors I got nitrate uh, reactors they're about three feet tall they're pretty awesome they're from Deltec with the Deltec skimmer you guys uh, seen uh, my pump the abs pump there it's all ready to go downstairs as well so you guys are gonna see we're gonna turn this on everything's gonna come to life here in the Phoenix and then uh, we got and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna cycle this tank it's gonna be a no fish cycle we're gonna be using a, a bacteria from a uh, polyp lab it's called uh, Genesis it's a really good bacteria and it's going to show you it's only going to take a couple weeks for this tank and then we can start adding fish corals all different kinds of creatures to this tank and hopefully we get a whole bunch of uh, purple coralline algae growing in here it's going to be awesome so i just can't wait to show you what what took in place and all the videos that are coming up guys um with the fish the corals everything that's going to be happening plus with all the new gear like the calcium reactor pretty excited to show you guys how to hook that up, how to tune it, how you program it, everything to work. So, same with the, the nitrate reactor, how we feed it with the bacteria, it's called fuel. And that's how we're gonna run and keep this tank uh, crystal clear and running ROA and uh, carbon, everything that's gonna take. So this is what's going on. I'll take you guys for a little uh, tank tour around here, show you uh, the Tunzee Stream 3s. It's a little cloudy, but you can still see and get the point. I got about half to go. It's going really well. And then uh, we're gonna mix the salt. There's so much salt to mix. As Soon as this is full and it's all running, I'm gonna start adding uh, the salt. Uh, I'm done with uh, d and h 2 Ocean salt. You guys can see that. This is what's gonna be powering the Phoenix. Just like all my lab tanks as well. That's an awesome high quality salt. It's got a great uh, boosted up uh, magnesium. All the parameters bang right on. It mixes crystal clear. And uh, a lot of the big guys, uh, like David Saxby, all those guys, they run all the same salt. You guys should check out their tanks and see the growth. It's amazing. So come on in, guys. Let's take a little tour, show you guys what's going on here. All right, so here I'll take you for a little tank tour. So there we go. We got the, the Hydra 52s. They're all uh, mounted up, looking great and looking pretty sexy. I like the rail system that comes with them. You guys can see there, it goes right in behind the tank. And they're solid, like, you see that? They're pretty solid. You can barely move them. And they sit up nice and straight. So I got those centered perfectly 
over the center of the tank, a little bit more forward because I don't have any corals in the back. So I want to use up that, uh, that real estate on there as well. So you guys check that out. So there's the overflow boxes we end up doing. They're pretty slick, both ends. Like that, you can see in the tank here, this is the top of the rock that's uh, still protruding through the water. Um, here's my quarter inch line right here that I'm, uh, you guys can see, run rate of my RO water. I'm trying to make like 850 gallons of total water volume, I think, in this tank. You guys can see just a small drip, so I'm a very patient man, but at least I know I'm starting out right with uh, pure RO water, so I'm having nuisance algae problems. So you guys can see the sand depth here. It's pretty awesome, but I got to fill down through underneath all the rock. Let's check that out, all the caves. I could probably leave it and the fish, they can move it around, but here's one of the Tunzi uh, Stream 3s, pretty slick. You can see it looks uh, pretty small in my tank. Um, I don't know if you, there's the other one back there, but it's still pretty foggy. I can't wait to get that Polyp Lab Carbon 1, getting this uh, fog out of here. But you guys can see it right back there is the other one, so we got it exactly between these two islands, so the water can flow around. This one here can shoot through the front out the back. And I don't know if you can see, you see that other one back there, not really, but you guys see right there as well, so it's in between the two islands. So I got the flow coming through the front, out through the back, and then uh, I could last one on the right hand side as well. See that? Pretty cool. And if you look through the back there, I end up uh, strapping the cables up in the corner. I made uh, a couple little uh, acrylic clips that made the wires all nice and neat. But everything uh, is coming together really well. I'm pretty happy about it. You can see the tank from this end looking great so I'm gonna show you guys the plumbing there in a later date when we end up doing it together with everything worked out really well and then I just got to finish all the stand I'm just waiting for my buddy we're gonna do all the millwork together not sure we're gonna go white stand black stand yet not sure if I go with the theme of the the Phoenix with the fire luck I should be going with black but we'll see but I kept the rock. You guys can see I have lots of uh, have lots of flow through here. Lots of I think about when I was doing this as well that the fish will have lots of room to swim around. So they can go between through all the islands and even in the back, lots of uh, real estate, lots of room for them to uh, swim around the back. And that's what I'm all about here. I want to make sure everybody's happy, happy fish, happy tank, and then down the other back through the other side as well. But you guys see like the see the cables back there. You can barely see them. And then the one little cable here, see the little clip I made? It goes down through the sand, out through all into the back as well. So it's coming along. So just a little bit more water, flow downstairs, and uh, end up we're gonna mix mix up this uh, salt in the tank as well with the the D and H two Ocean Pro formula. This stuff's awesome, guys. I, it's my favorite ever since I've uh, gotten the hobby now. Never turning back. You can't beat it. But it's gonna look good, get all the millwork done, everything uh, matching. It's gonna be pretty sweet. So I can't wait to start getting some nice sticks and SBS, all kinds of different corals in here and fish. I got a great idea, all the kinds of fish I can't wait to get. All right, farm hands. So I wanted to show you this little update on the Phoenix 700, how things are turning out. We just did that little tank tour so you guys could see. So you're gonna see more videos keep popping up and watching the tank evolve, the fish, the corals. So it's gonna be a long series, guys, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So please subscribe and hit the like button.